fuck. I came to bring the pain, hardcore from the brain. Let's go inside my ass. Welcome back to Guards Grill Boxing. My name is Sleep. Coltrane, baby. Big Mike. He likes knockouts. Ride or die. Yo. Yeah, we got the docs. <laughs> Giving you the mayhem, which which just occurred, the Ricky Hatton versus Floyd Mayweather fight. You can't hit what's not good. See, that's what people are feeling to realize. You, you got to get to the body to be able to attack the body. Side stepping is what Mayweather does the best. You know, side. You just, you remember how Roy Jones right in the ring? He'll throw a punch. He gets like slide out this way, he slides away this way. That tires the fighter out. Ricky has been retiring the fight for not being able to hit Mayweather. He's going to throw a lot of punches, just not landing. Crowd's going to be ooing it out, and nothing's going to be going on. You know, I'm not one to brag. But I gave you the little play-by-play -play about the little hook. I guess he named it tonight, the little check. I told you early, Ricky lunges in. He lunges in, he doesn't really set stuff up with a proper jab, and what happened? All through round one, bank, move, bank, move. Roger Grill Boxing. It's only one Floyd Mayweather. You see the footwork and the slippery defense? It's only one Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather bringing the A game on. Money, Mayweather. <laughs> I demonstrated how the fight was going to go. Pop move, pop move. You see it. Then what happened at the end? Ricky had a lot, a lot of wrestling going on. Yeah. And you know, I was, you know, mm. there was a lot, we thought it was going to be a lot of sap in Mayweather's energy, but he made some keen adjustments. Right. Guard your grill, boss, your man, Coltrane. I think Mayweather's fighting, had and fight. You got to slow down and remember, Mayweather, fight with your brain. That's what got you at pound for pound elitist status. Fight with your brain. What, what, what more can I say? Track four of Jay-Z's album, or the Black Album, what more can I say? I called it. I called it. It's a good fight. They mixing it up good. They mixing it up. Tom, I'm gonna tell you why. Yo. Like early on, I thought I saw a little fatigue in Mayweather's legs, and it seemed like he was a little disturbed by a little rough play. I don't know why Floyd's not really establishing the jab. He's got to fight like Roy Jones, but he's countering him with the left, like I said. But. I guess it's the technique why he won't use the, uh, the jab, but uh, it's a whole lot of wrestling going on. And that's a uh, hat's advantage. I, mean, I thought Ricky was what we was talking about right. at the barbershop. We, I swore Ricky was going to resort to all his little uh, roughhouse tactics, the below the belt, leading in with his head, and he did more clinching that I would have liked to have seen. But he tried I mean, to break his arm. Really. He tried to do sure. a but but give Floyd credit though. Floyd actually, rea he actually reacted well to everything Ricky yep, threw at right. him. All the little dirty little tricks he, that, that bothered Costa Zoo in that fight. Yeah, I'm, I, 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 you know, the fight, is, it's messy right now. I don't want to say Hatton is actually taking control. He's just making it a little messier than I anticipated. But look for Mayweather to prevail in the later rounds. I didn't never think you would punch and hold, man. I, I didn't think you would do that, Floyd. Not you, Floyd. Too much finesse. I'm not gonna call. I'm not gonna call out some of my colleagues in here who said Floyd was tired. But he wasn't. Mm, okay, yeah, I said, you know, sleep. We I said, yeah. I, I, it looked like it's. It, the guy I said trash. Yo, what oh, said trash, man. Floyd's said, gift. Floyd's gift is that he has the uncanny, canny ability to carry fighters. Two sports here. We got one guy wrestling and the other dude boxing. That's all I gotta say. Okay, one more round, and I think this is where Ricky gonna start resorting to uh, the roughhouse tactic. All the low blows, the head buzz, they coming now. Watch for that boy. Ricky don't look good, man. It don't look good. But keep your head up, Ricky. <laughs> Money Mayweather. He's sneaking at me. Look at that, look at that. He's not moving his head as much as he can. Mayweather countering. So look like he's getting his energy sap from the, the bull rush. He had me thinking that Hatton was sapping his energy early, but he I think he says trash. He I plays possible with people. You know what I mean? Well, I think Floyd is Floyd, and y'all can't separate the personality from the actual actual performance that he puts on in the ring. And that's the problem. That's why y'all can't indulge into it. This guy is a great fighter, man. Here's a guy. This guy basically... If this was any other fighter, they probably would have hit Rick, hit Ricky Hatton low. Maybe gave him a little pork chop elbow. But this guy is so dis... He's a machine that was built by Floyd Mayweather Sr. And you're seeing the fruits of senior labor, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boxing, this your man, Coltrane. 
I think they're going to rob Floyd Mayweather and wants to go to the scorecards of the fights, keep going at this pace. I thought Floyd will make, I thought Ricky Hatton was one-dimensional. I still think he's one-dimensional. I just think he's making it a messy fight. And Floyd not, not fighting a smart fight. Rather, if that's due to Hatton messiness, or Floyd just not using his intelligence. I done seen, I seen his, this story before. We call the oil change in the tune up right there. Round eight, it's round eight. He got tuned up in that round. But then all of a sudden, the ninth round, the jab started coming out, and then he kept doing that little check hook, and it caught him, and he heard him. I was talking to the champ and his, uh, and his coach earlier, man. A boxer beats a puncher any day of the week, man. I mean, all that craziness, man, it belongs in the octagon and mixed right. martial arts. Yeah. 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 That, don't forget, he, he was training at the US, UFC. Oh, I forgot so, yeah, about he that. Was. Oh, forgot about that. Hey, yo, <laughs> shout out watch. to the UFC. <laughs> no, watch. We, mad at we just like boxing, that's all. Watch the first <laughs> round. Like, uh, you Shout out to Dana White. You see, a lot of, you see a lot of shades of Mike Tyson in the first round of Klitsch. Like Floyd screamed, looked like he tried to bend his arm up and break it. Yep. Mike used to do that. And calmly on the end, Ricky might have been looking for an out. He was looking once, for an out, man. Once like Floyd Mike. started throwing right. a jab and started connecting with those shots up high, mm -hmm. snapping the head back, you know, like Mike. <laughs> you know, like Michael Jackson. You remember I'm Mike. <laughs> hey, hey, That's how Ricky was looking, was getting hit with the jab. His head was going back like hey, that. sleep. I need an oil change. I might holler at Mayweather because he gave him a tune-up in the oil oh. change and they hang around because... <laughs> but it all... All respect to Ricky Hatton. Yeah, yeah, man. You gotta understand something. It was no, it was never a disrespect to Ricky Hatton. It's about calling the fight how you exactly. see it. Yeah, right. And we told you from the gate, we call the fight how you see it. it. Ain't the fact that Mayweather's from the United States and he's from the UK. Or that you call flashy. it how you see it. Or that he's flashy. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Or he's flashy or whatever. We're not really for that. We call it how you see it. Too much speed. Too much finesse. Too much slickness. And too much experience. And too much sweet science.